Black Bruin Motor Disassembly and Assembly Instructions Motor Disassembly End Cover Loosen the end cover bolts on the hub cover and remove the end cover along with its o-ring. Hub Cover and Bearings Insert a small screwdriver between the retaining ring and push the retaining ring outward as much as possible. Use a larger screwdriver to pry out the locking ring. Tap outward with a screwdriver to separate the two retaining rings. Flip the motor over and remove the inner hex bolts on the hub cover. Screw the removed inner hex bolts into the four threaded extraction holes on the hub cover. Tighten the bolts evenly and symmetrically to remove the hub cover and bearings. Cylinder Block Assembly and Distributor Assembly Pry out the retaining ring with a screwdriver and remove the two retaining rings securing the cylinder block assembly. Use a screwdriver to evenly pry up the cylinder block assembly, then remove the cylinder block and distributor assembly. Note. Be careful when performing these steps to avoid damaging the surface of the distributor and cylinder components. Do not disassemble the distributor unless its pin is damaged. If the seal ring needs to be changed, remove the support ring from the distributor and then remove the seal ring from the support ring. Rear Cover Assembly. Remove the three seal rings from the shaft. Flip the rear cover assembly and separate it from the shaft. Note, do not disassemble the distributor's coupling ring. If there are signs of damage or uneven deflection, it is recommended to order a new rear cover with the rotating unit already assembled. Note, if replacing the bearings or oil seals, remove the circlip and support ring. Motor Assembly Place the assembled rear cover onto the shaft. Carefully tap the inner bearing race to tightly fit against the wear ring of the shaft seal. Place the three seal rings into the grooves on the shaft. Lubricate the seal rings and the sealing surfaces inside the distributor. Carefully place the seal rings in the center of the shaft, ensuring that the slots of the three seal rings are offset by 120 degrees. Gently lift and place the distributor in position. Rotate the distributor and gently press it evenly with your hands. Apply slightly more force when the distributor pin aligns with the coupling ring groove. If necessary, gently tap the distributor with a soft tool, ensuring not to hit the distributor surface until the three seal rings are fully seated inside the distributor. Clean the distributing surfaces in the distributor and cylinder block, and apply some hydraulic oil to it. Install the assembled cylinder block assembly onto the shaft splines. Press the cylinder block assembly down, place the two retaining rings into the shaft grooves. And install the locking ring over the retaining rings, ensuring that the retaining rings are fully seated in the grooves of the locking ring. Place the hub cover with the O-ring into position and tighten all bolts around the circumference of the hub cover. Install the bearings and thoroughly lubricate with hydraulic oil. Apply the required force on the hub bearing and install the two retaining rings into the shaft grooves. Fully install the locking ring over the retaining rings. Place the hub cover with the O-ring onto the hub and secure it with bolts. After assembly. Before operating the motor, rotate the motor until one of the vent screws is at the highest position. Loosen the vent screw at the bottom of motor for half a turn and inject oil into the motor casing from the vent screw which is at the highest position. When the oil starts flowing out of the vent screw which is at the bottom, re-tighten the two vent screws. Note, 
failure to lubricate will result in severe damage to the motor. Test run the motor as much as possible, 